Welcome to Dead Man Talking. Before we start off tonight's story, I'd just like to apologise once again, guys. Uh, on Friday night, I was trying to upload five very special videos for you. Three of those are actually a series. Um, for some reason, I cannot work out just yet. The audio was uh, quite choppy, as AJ, one of my subscribers, pointed out. Um, I'm trying to work on that and get that fixed and uh, things are busy here obviously with the kids and the wife um, But uh, I'll do my best to get those up as soon as possible if not some other videos Tonight's story though guys has been sent in by my subscriber who goes by the name T and uh, Can't thank T enough for getting in touch and sending me this story. Um, it's very 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 um, chilling and uh, quite amazing really and uh, it's uncanny if anything to my own uh, UFO sighting. Um, strange that might sound to some of you guys, I certainly thought that would be a, a strange subject to take serious years back, but um, in 2010, I had a very, very strange encounter one night whilst walking my dog. Uh, I will release that soon. I just wanna get it right and, and pen it on paper first, but uh, it's something that I'm looking to do. And with regards to T's story, it's very, very similar in the details, which is uh, it's hit home with me. So I can't wait to get that out for you guys. But I'm sure you're going to enjoy this story tonight. Without further ado, let's get into tonight's story from T, entitled UFO Incident Mass Sighting at Grandview, Missouri, about 1983 to 85. Let's get straight into that. I grew up in a relatively small community, and our school was no different. My entire graduating class, as I recall, was less than 30 people. The biggest nearby town's population was less than 3,000, so yeah. It was either my sophomore or junior year in high school, and pretty much like everyone else my age, the guys, for the most part, drove. Well, whatever had wheels that we could afford. Of course, these old cars got the redneck makeovers. It didn't matter if it had a V8, V6, or even a four-cylinder. They got the cragger wheels, skinnies on the front, and G50 fatties on the back. Glass pack mufflers, and those cheap Krako car stereos from Walmart. Loud, but sound quality? Yeah, not so much. I'd just put the finishing touches on this old two-door Ford Granada. And it honestly didn't look that bad, you know, for a Granada. Anyways, I asked a friend of mine if he wanted to go to a big city <laughs> of Grandview, cruise the boulevard and convince ourselves we were going to pick up girls. That whole teen thing. We got into town about 9pm or so, Friday night. Now, I didn't go to bigger towns very often because I lived in the country. City driving made me uneasy and fairly nervous. We hadn't been in town even 45 minutes when we were driving south on Blue Ridge Boulevard and were coming to the intersection with Red Bridge Road. The light was red and we were about the fourth or fifth car back when we stopped for the light. The light turned green, but we, no one, was moving. Unsure of what was going on, I looked around to see what was up. An accident? Maybe a stalled car? Just didn't know. That's when I noticed the Grandview police car, three cars up in the left lane. His lights weren't flashing and he was standing just outside of his cruiser's door. The old style corded mic microphone in his hand. And he was looking straight up. That's weird, I thought. But as I looked around the intersection, everyone was getting out of their cars, or already were, and they too were looking straight up. I figured maybe it's a low flying plane or something. That is, till I looked up. We were all seeing this thing, or things, consisting of 25 very brightly lights, very brightly lit lights of varying colours, red, blue and white. They were not pulsing, or flashing, or strobing, or getting 
any brighter or dimmer. And they were all maintaining exactly the same speed, apparent altitude and direction, and never got any closer or further from the other lights. Maybe an aeroplane or meteor shower? Explanation would be plausible. If it weren't for the fact that these lights were moving incredibly slow. Perhaps 25, 30 miles per hour at the most, and they never made any sound. There was no propeller sound, no jet engine sound, absolute silence. Travelling due west. Coincidentally, their path went directly over the centre of what was at the time Richard Gabor Air Force Base. As soon as it passed beyond sight from our vantage point, the police officer jumped into his car, turned on his lights and siren, and was positively hauling some serious ass in an exact direction towards the airbase. I don't know how much time had passed, but after he left, a few motorists pulled up into the nearby parking lots and were chatting excitedly with each other. And yes, this was, well, before cell phones. And, as far as I could tell, no one had any cameras with them. You see, there was no distinctive film advance motors whirring. There was no flash bulbs going off. The rest who witnessed this, my friend and myself included, just got into our cars and simply drove off. We did not continue cruising the boulevard. I just got back on the highway and started the some 30 mile some trip back home. Neither my friend nor myself even spoke to each other. We didn't even look at each other all the way back. I stopped at his house and without a single word, he got out, closed the door, went down his sidewalk and right into his house. The next day, the local news had received numerous calls about the event over Grandview and their explanation was a non-seasonal linear meteor shower. And that was the only news coverage on it. I'm 48 years old and I've seen a lot of meteor showers, enough really to know with no ambiguity whatsoever, meteors are not what visited Grandview, Missouri that night. It was either several smaller individual objects or alternatively one very large object displaying non-conventional flight capabilities with precision and uniform direction typically we would associate with an object under intelligent control. This was not astral or meteorological in nature. I know it's not terribly dramatic or exciting I suppose but that's the most part tame of my encounters. I hope you at least didn't fall asleep while reading it. Laugh out loud. Wow, thank you so much T, thank you. That's an amazing encounter and sighting that you had there. Um, I do hope you and your friend did get to speak to each other not too long after that eventually and, uh, and continue your friendship. Guys, please let us, know, let us know down below in the comments what you think. Also, please do like and share. If you haven't subscribed to DMT, please do. Your support is really, really welcome. Remember folks, be safe. Not sorry.